The 2-2. Chopper, that's a fair ball, and Hawksworth not covered. The 0-2. Oh my oh, goodness, he, he went up it. and got it. It was the fastball, it was a rip. He didn't pull but the he, ball though. But he cut it short. He cut the, he, he wow. shortened up his swing on that. Yeah, I can imagine. Ryan Braun probably. Well, now it has officially become a save opportunity, Darren. Hit hard out the third, off the glove of Miles, on across the diamond, the inning rolls on. Six to two is the score. He's been perfect. Runners go, another run. Not anymore, he's not. He just walked in a run now. The winning run coming to the plate, and Ryan Roberts. Don Manning, we can't believe what he's seeing. Grounded off of his glove in the shallow right field. That'll get two to the plate. And the tying run comes to the plate. Robertson facing the left-handed hitter. In comes the pitch. And a drive into right center field in the alley. And it's going to drop near the warning track. Hosmer to second. Kane coming home. It is a one-run game. Tommy Kainley is the new pitcher. And now the Royals are just a hit away, if you can believe it, from tying this game. Pitch is made. And a drive into left center field in the alley, and the Royals have tied this game. Gutierrez on his way to second base with a double. This is just crazy. It's hard to tell this to a guy who's playing in just his second big league game, and he's batting with the bases loaded in the ninth inning, but the pressure is not on Brett Eibner right here. The pressure is on Tommy Canely. Line, base in right field. It was worth the wait for Brett Eibner. A stunning, absolutely stunning, seven run, bottom of the ninth inning. Rosario got an infield hit and scored his last time. Hope to get something started here. There you Base go. hit to left. And Rondon's just pitched himself, I think, out of the ball game. Three hits in the inning. It's six to two. The time run in the on deck circle. And now here comes Brad Austin. They've gotten the Detroit closer into the ball game, Joaquin Soria. Sano, Rosario, and Hicks on the bases. And that hits Suzuki. And a walk, a run walks in from third base. It's six to three. That's very, very smart by Kurt Suzuki. That was a big slow curveball that he just kind of put his left shoulder in. Santana at the plate. Six men have come to the plate here in the ninth. One man has been retired. Up the middle, a base hit. Rosario scores, Hicks right behind him. And it's six to five. Tying run at second with one away. Watch out, Joaquin Soria. Ooh. Just about everybody left here at target field is standing. Brian Dozier, the batter, singled in a run his last time out. A drive to left field! Are you kidding me? Wow. <laughs> what a comeback by the Twins! You didn't make the All-Star team, but you just helped beat the Detroit Tigers. The most electric moment at Target Field in years! I got goosebumps. Unbelievable comeback. Down by five runs. I'm Two one is lined and left. Run for a base hitter. Out from second comes Nava. He will score. With one way to third base and into second, the RBI double goes Brock Holt. On the ground, right side, and right through the base hit. With one way scores. Here comes Holt. Two runs in for the Red Sox, and now it's seven to five. And still nobody out. Osbury will be rolled around the throw from left from Ack 
likely is going to be not in time, and it's a win-win game. 3-2. His long in the center field, the base hit for games. Victor Orr being waved around for the second. Big time, 7-7. Close goes to the screen. Here comes Oliva. And it's 9 4. This ball crushed to left field. It is gone. Who knows what's in store now? Three run home run, Chris Ionetta. And a line drive that's going to drop for a base hit. It's 9 to 8. This ball is drilled to right center field. And it skips for a moment past Randy Wood. They're going to send Gonzalez. Here comes Cargo. No throw. Rockies have tied it up. The Rockies have tied it up with six in the ninth. Here's the 2 2. This ball dropped high and deep. The Rockies have done it. The Rangers are three outs away from a Western Division flag. It's the top of the order here in the Angels' last stand this afternoon. Ibar, Calhoun, and Trout. A swing and a drive well struck out to right. Chu is back, and that one is gone. Eric Ibar with a home run, just his third of the year. Calhoun follows with a high drive to deep right, and that one is gone. Top tank. The Angels go back to back to start the ninth. Now they're two downs, and the product of five in a row may be affecting his off speed as they were not fooled again. Pujols pops it up. Odor and Napoli are out there, and that's a fair ball. Pujols on his way to second, and the tying run will come to the plate with one out in the ninth. That's a long way to run for Odor. The only chance that the Angels will have at a postseason berth is if Houston loses two more and the Angels win tomorrow. To send it to a game 163. Angels aren't dead yet. Here's Pujols to score in front of the Crone base hit. And the go-ahead run will have a chance. Look at the heater. He In got the hit. center field, and this game is tied! Wow. Four in the ninth, and the Angels have come back from the dead to tie it at ten. Unbelievable. The next one, too. Giovatello with a base hit back up the middle. Here comes Cowart, and the Angels have scored five in the ninth to take an 11 to 10 lead. Wow. 37,000-plus stunned.